Hi folks, I'm Steve Hindy for Showing Animals Respect and Kindness. Shark began exposing rodeo animal abuse back in 1993. From the beginning, we've exposed that many animals in rodeos, mostly horses, are shocked with thousands of volts of electricity to make them act wild from pain and fear. Rodeo supporters claim that the electric shock doesn't really hurt. All you have to do is look at the reaction of a shocked horse to see that it obviously hurts. Rodeo thugs say that horses have thicker skin than humans. That is not only false, but it's also pointless, as it is nerve endings that determine the ability to send pain signals to the brain. And it is well known by horse experts that horses are far more sensitive to electricity than humans. The manufacturer of the prod has stated for decades that its products should not be used in rodeos and should never, under any circumstance, be used on horses, again because they are too sensitive to electricity. The phony cowboys of rodeo claim they only use the prod when a horse refuses to leave the chute. Again, video documentation clearly shows this to be a lie. I'm so sick of the excuses and the bullshit from these pitiful excuses for men that I want to make a challenge. I'm willing to go to the headquarters of the Professional Rodeo Cowboys Association in Colorado Springs, Colorado, and there, with cameras rolling, I will allow a rodeo thug to use an electric prod on me first, if then I get to use the prod on PRCA Commissioner George Taylor, this guy. We've repeatedly asked Taylor to stop the use of prods and to respond to other abuses documented at PRCA rodeos, but Commissioner Taylor has chosen not to respond. Now, we want the whole world to know that PRCA Commissioner George Taylor has been challenged man to man. Taylor is perfectly willing to allow horses to be shocked, but he can't take it himself, especially when the head of shark is willing to take it first? How spineless will that be? If Taylor doesn't respond, then let him be forever known as the coward I already know he is. While we're at it, let's extend this challenge to Roger Walters, the commissioner of the National Intercollegiate Rodeo Association. We filmed horses being shocked at that association's national finals in Casper, Wyoming last year. We asked Commissioner Walters for a response. Like George Taylor, Roger Walters chose silence. Seems that rodeo is loaded with cowardly failures. All hat, but obviously no balls. How about the management of rodeo's unethical corporate sponsors, such as Discount Tires, Coca-Cola, Coors Beer, Best Buy, or Dodge Ram Trucks? Is there no one who's willing to take just a little of what rodeo regularly dishes out to its victims? Rodeos go on and on about how tough their phony cowboys are. But when they're actually challenged, they're no-shows. How very telling. Rodeo is animal abuse, with little difference from cockfighting, bullfighting, or dogfighting. Good people don't support animal abuse. If you care about animals, please do not go to rodeos. And please do not do business with rodeos unethical and gutless corporate sponsors. You can find the names of more of those sponsors at corporatethugs.com. I'm Steve Hindy for showing animals respect and kindness. Thank you for watching. Please like and share this video. You can subscribe to our channel to see more of our investigations and learn what you can do to help shark help animals. To support shark directly and gain access to exclusive content, consider sponsoring us on Patreon.